Hello crafty friends. Today I'm going to be showing you a project that I created for a swap. This is for the crafty group again, Crafty Crafts by Dina um, on Facebook. And this month or this time the swap is to create a box card um, like the one that Dina showed on one of her channels um, or, or her videos, I'm sorry. Um, I will be linking that video below so in case you guys want to learn how to make this um, or how to make the mechanism of it. Um, you guys will really enjoy that video but i followed that tutorial and then the rest of it was just to decorate the project um ourselves so now we just have you know ask our, our partners to see what kind of things they liked to see what we were going to create so in my case my partner said that her favorite things were disney coffee um, she likes doodle bug stuff and cruises. So it was a little bit hard for me because I don't have a lot of those things, but, um, it was a little bit of a challenge. So I was happy to get that challenge. I went with the Disney theme because I love Disney as well. Um, it's not like, you know, I'm not crazy, crazy about it, but I do like it a lot. Um, so I went ahead and went this theme. So I also incorporated her favorite color, which is purple. And, um, you know, I used some of different pattern papers from different paper pads. I had to kind of put it all together. But I picked up this sticker from um, Tuesday morning. And I thought it was really fun. It has all these fun colors and it has all the little characters. So I got that one. And I put a removable glue dot here to close it because I didn't want to put a Velcro just in case she wants to put a picture or something in here. So that's what it has. And uh, when you open it, you have up here, you know, a section for her to be able to put a picture or um, some, you know, like journaling or something in here. Same here. She could attach a picture and same on the other side. Now, on the bottom, I have these little um, sections that she could tag things. So I thought maybe, you know, putting in like the tickets if you uh, from a Disney trip or something that would be really fun. Or you could put pictures in there as well. And then here. Um, I put the two, these two, I used them from a swap that I did with Dina. And actually, this one came from there as well, and the Mickey. So it worked out perfect because I don't have a Cricut machine to cut those out. So um, it, it worked out. So I put those two here, and then I left them. I partially glued them so that way they could be little pockets for pictures in there. And I put these two so that way she could see that. Um, and then she could do some journaling here on the Mickey uh, hands. And then, you know, put whatever the picture was. I think that would be a lot of fun. So this one again, um, another one to put a picture in. And then when you open it, another picture right here. And I just grabbed these um, little um, words and um, sentiments that um, I had from a different paper pad. So it's just like discover, having fun. And then um, here I put the Mickey uh, gloves. They're so cute. Um, so these again are from the ones that Dina sent me. And then, um, so then you have a section here for two pictures. And I didn't put a paper there, um, but I am gonna cut another one so I can put it in there. But what you're supposed to, or what this is also, you could put your picture in there as well. So there's a little bit of space that, you know, you could go around it. So I just mounted this with foam tape. They're really cute, I think. And then this is the center where she could put her main picture, like maybe the picture of her whole family. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was super fun and cute. And I think it went like this. And yeah, so I'm super excited to send this out. Um, so this is the main thing. Now I am going to be sending her a couple of other goodies um, along with this. And I'll be packaging that, sending it out today. Um, and in the back, I just, you know, put another one of these paper that, you know, it's in the nice purple lavender and it just says adventure and then i put a little section here to put like a message and you know say to you and yeah so that's what i made now i am going to be sending her some goodies um it's not a lot but you know i hope that she enjoys it i am sending her a card that i made because she loves coffee and i put an elf there for her initial and i love this um embossing folder that i have and um you know it has a lot of different coffee theme little cups and stuff like you know hot coffee and then like frappuccino cups so i'm sending her those so that way she could use them for projects like here i used it um to layer on the background of my card but i also this is something that i did for the first time i added some glossy accents to this ones and i left these ones like this because maybe she wants to pop it onto something and use it as a focal image maybe just um put a mat around it 
but you could also cut them out in I cut some out let me find those where did I put them so I cut some out and I actually put them into paper clips and thought that it would be fun to put those um, to include there so see there you are and um, so I just I just did a couple of these ones like these so I just uh, you know cut two out and put it on the back maybe I could have done it a different color it probably would have looked better but you know that's what I did <laughs> so um, anyway I'm sending her that one so she could do more projects with that another one of these um, these are still from Valentine stickers but I think that she could use them later on I thought it'd be cute so I'm sending that to her as well and then I am sending this other sticker that I bought um, from Tuesday morning. This one says friends. And then I'm including some more of those Mickey uh, words that Dina sent me. I still have a few. So I want to share some of those with her. But this one says friends. I didn't want to put it anywhere in there because maybe she wants to use it for something else. So I put that one there. Sharing a couple more of the Mickey ears. So if she wants to make another one, that'd be a lot of fun. I didn't like, I like I said, I didn't have a lot. So I found this Cartabella um, little rosettes that have a cruise theme. So they have like boats and it says tourist classic uh, Caribbean line. So it just has like a cruise theme and it's called Let's Cruise. So they may have a paper pad or something, but I didn't find anything else. So I thought it would be fun to send her those as well. So I'll be sending that. And then as far as, um, you know, just adding little extra goodies. Um, here's a couple more of those little Mickey gloves so that way she could use. And then I am going to be sending her this little embellishment thing that I am making. And I thought that it would be fun to let you guys to show you how I package it. So um, the way I do, I just added some foam tape. And I have my um, hot glue gun. And what I like to do, I just, I just add a tiny little dab of glue there. So that way I could put it um, onto the paper. And she could use it. So she could peel it off and use it. I don't have to stick it there. And then I don't have to worry about it moving when it goes in the post. So this is just a rosette. And actually, I forgot to put some foam tape on this one. Let me grab that real quick. Um, so that way she could use it. And it already has the adhesive. It already has the glue. So there's a piece of the foam tape. Add a little dab of glue. And then just pop it onto your paper. I think that's a fun way to package them and put them together. So these ones um, I got, these are from the Sunny Studio stamp set. And I color them using my SIG markers. These were a lot of fun. So I did the little coffee cups. I'm going to put this one. Well, I guess there's coffee cups all over the place. So let's put her here. And then there's this little egg like an egg yolk so it has a lot of punny sentiments i think it's called breakfast puns and it's really cute but i just love the images because they're just so cute so you have a little toast it also has a waffle somewhere but i did the little donuts and then, then this purple toast because she likes purple so i wanted to include the purple in there somewhere and then coffee theme so you know the little cups of coffee so they have coffee in there so this is probably like a lot this a little lighter but anyway i use uh tim holt's um sentiments i forget what that booklet's called but i just put some of those in there and i think that is going to be really cute to add to that and then um as far as disney disney theme i have these dies that i haven't um really used them for a long time let me show you so i do have a few i have a cinderella i think i have um other ones but i ended up not cutting this ones out but this one is this right here. It's a Disney theme. Um, it's a Cinderella. And I thought it was super pretty. But because on the um, box I was going with just general Disney Mickey theme. Um, I left that one alone. And I didn't put that here. But I'm sending it as an embellishment. And I did the same thing. Um, I put it on foam tape and a little bit of uh, hot glue. So that way they can stay there. And then just I just put some little purple butterflies that I um, layered with some foam tape. So just to add a little bit of fun. And I am going to be putting this into little clear bags for her. But yeah, that's that. And then I did the same thing here. I created another one. I do have that little Mickey die um, that I like. I put in the other one. So this is mini. And then I put a foam square there. So that way I can send those. Here's a couple more tickets of the ones I had cut out there. 
but yeah and then i mean that's pretty much the main thing that i'm sending um she did say she does like doodle bug paper so i am sending i had bought these spring collections and i haven't um really used it so i decided to go ahead and send her um you know it i sent i used a few of the sheets but i decided to send her some i did have to cut it to a six by six um size because it's not going to fit in the packaging and you know it's not a lot so i didn't want it to roll it or do anything else with it but i am sending her all of these papers this one's kind of like a velvet felt i don't know it was it's kind of weird feeling but it's i guess it could be used for different projects same with this one um but yeah these are all doodle bug things because you know she likes doodle bug stuff so i'm sending her those and you know just a good stack of them and i also found this pad that i had in my stash i actually had another one that i started using and i had this one that i hadn't opened so it was new and i said this would be perfect because it has some of those purple uh tones here and it would be perfect for her because she likes purple so i'm sending these to her as well um now this is just pretty much all i'm sending her but um as a last thing i wanted to send a little treat so this is just one of those um uh, easter chocolate you know spring theme i created another rosette here i'm doing the same thing because I want her to be able to reuse this. Um, with all of my projects or things that I send, I always keep in mind of, um, you know, making things so that way that they can reuse them. Because, you know, you take the time to make them. You want them to be able to use them. Uh, obviously, they can keep it for themselves. And then this one, I am just going to glue it. Actually, I should do the same thing. So she could use this one too. Um, right there. But yeah, I like, um, you know, making things versatile so that way they can reuse them. And, you know, that'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to put that little coffee bunny. And this is from my Your Next stamp set. But yeah, how sweet is that? So, yes, I added, I just wrapped it with the purple because I wanted to add some of that purple in that she likes. And yeah, but this is what's what I'm going to be sending her. I'll be packaging this up today and putting it in that little box that I kind of decorated. Um, it doesn't have purple, but I thought these little doilies were fun spring colors so i am adding those but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and i hope that my partner her name is laura i hope that she enjoys it i had a lot of fun creating this and especially disney i love disney um theme stuff so i hope that she likes all the items that i'm sending and anyway thank you so much for watching guys if you haven't subscribed or um, subscribe to my channel consider doing it um also click that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos when i post them up um i am working right now on craft fair items because i i'm going to be participating in a craft fair in a couple of weeks so i'll be doing that so i don't know that i'll have a lot of videos but i'll come up and share as much as i can um soon i hope everybody's having a wonderful week and have a great day bye